Okay. Hmm. Had to clear out some of my video from uh, from the uh, from the phone. And um, another new thing. See this hobby. Keep having to buy extra things all the time. A little tripod. Probably need a little um another SD card for the phone because I've never really used it for video before. Anyway, what we're trying to get to is charging. Okay, right. You plug this in. This is the only way to get that menu. It doesn't come up any other way as far as I can look at. So this top one is the USB. So if you want to see your see your stick, now it's just like a USB stick. Um, one of the problems was that you can't um, you can access your files like a USB stick um, and then obviously you can see your files but um, you know anything you've recorded you can you can then just view as a, as a, a video and use the clapperboard or um, one and you, you can see everything if we go to second mode so it's still stuck on this piece of You've chosen one. If you unplug it, you go again. Hopefully, you won't need to do this only once you know what you're doing. You're going to have to keep unplugging. This is the PC camera, and that's to use it like as a web camera. They haven't provided any software for it, so I don't know. You just have to download some generic software, which I did. I wasn't over happy about the, um, the use. But that's so you can see, see in this mode, you know, you, you can't access anything, it's just stuck like that. Um, I don't think the buttons will do anything. Uh, so you'll be using alternative software to see the webcam as a webcam on the screen. So that one's not that useful really. Okay. And the final option. Is the charging mode. And that's what's a bit annoying. See the red icon that doesn't that's that's indicating that you've plugged something in. And the battery, I've been playing around with this, that's what always delayed me really. It's still on red. So click the shutter button. Let's go into the charging mode. So now in charging mode, and you can use it as a camera as well. So this is when you'd be doing your 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 YouTube or I don't know. You might have some action footage. You want, you want to add a bit of studio feel. And this is what you mode you'd probably have to go in. Um, that battery uh, is not helpful, is it? The, the icon is it's not going up or down. Um, but the trouble in this mode is you need to use your phone as um, or a tablet as as the monitor to see, you know, because when you're pointing this at you, it's like I can't see if I'm in the shot, you know. If I can't see what I'm, you know, there's no front screen here, is there? So you can't see what, what you're shooting. Um, so that's a bit of a disadvantage. And the software, I could have, I think they could have made a bit of PCs. You know, the, you got the Android software for the phone. Shouldn't there be a PC version of that? So now I'm plugged in to the PC. It's recharging the camera, so I can't do much. But, you know, at least if that... Android app was on the PC you could see you know your movie clips easier but remember this the trouble is they're on there so you have to download them and stuff 
think, to view them. But yeah, that's about it. So they left out the software, the PC software, for when you're live filming. And they missed out the dash cam sucker and the adapter. They missed out the charger. So I'd say, you know, I'm not being paid to make this review or anything, but get the external mic. That's why people buy this, is because you get an external mic and hopefully you get better sound quality and it just plugs in there see most of the other ones don't this is why people buy the, the this version the uh, CT85 is for this mic um, even though I'm recording my camera obviously phone camera um, yeah that's why they have this one but you don't get the charger which is a bit annoying Anyway, okay, that's um, the end of that one. So, um, hopefully in this part two we'll get to uh, record some footage on the camera.